Hey, what's to you too, fam? It's your girl, CK, and um, I am at home vlogging, and I decided that I wanted to get online real quick and speak to you guys about the Book of Clarence. Now, the reason why I wanted to do a review on it was because, number one, Jay-Z was in this um, movie, or he was the co-producer, excuse me, in this uh, movie, and I thought it would be very interesting to see a man that's coming from, like, the hip-hop world going into producing. Now, I know that he's been in, like, an executive director um before but actually producing a film it seems very interesting to me just to see his work being lived out loud you know his thoughts so i wanted to do a little deep diving now before i get into my thoughts about the book of clarence i want you guys to know that there was going to be two main people that i'll be looking at um prior to this uh movie starting and is the bullet and um the bullet is actually um james I want to make sure I'm saying his name correctly. So let me go online real quick. I had to put my um my password in. I think it's James Samuel. Yes, J-E-Y-M-E-S Samuel. So it's James Samuel. And he is a man from um like, where is he from? So he is from, it says, The Bullet is a British singer, songwriter, music producer, and filmmaker from London, England. So we know that he is from London, England, and there's Jay-Z. So there's the bullet and Jay-Z. Next thing I want you guys to know is that when I was watching this film, it was be, it was very interesting to me because it was like literally in chapters. So just like the Renaissance World Tour with Miss Beyonce, Jay-Z is in chapters as well. There's chapter one where he is more of like an apostle. Chapter two is um, basically the next Messiah. And chapter three is the crucifixion. Now, in chapter one, um, we learn a lot about Clarence and how he was this man in debt. He had a lot of obligations that was not able to be fulfilled. And he was really trying to get with the love of his life. Um, but again, he was in debt. He owed a lot. There was this person that actually was out to kill him and he was just trying to survive. That was what it was about in chapter one survival. Okay. But he knew that since his life was in jeopardy, he had to come out with some type of means to get out of a bad situation. So what he did was he wanted to take on someone's identity. And what he did was take on Jesus of Nazareth's identity. You know, he was like, you know what? I can be him. I can learn what he's doing and I will possess his identity. I will take ownership of who he is because I can. That's interesting to me. Honestly, when I think about it, it's really a thriller just to know that identity theft is so interesting and it's so real out here. But in movies, they're saying, I'm going to take your identity. You know what I'm saying? Next thing is he becomes the next Messiah and him being the next Messiah. And when I say in him, I'm talking or I'm referencing Clarence uh, with Clarence being the next Messiah. He's taking all of these ideas. He's following um, what is it? Jesus of Nazareth around without him knowing. And he's taking his ideas and making it his own, learning his tools, learning his ways and making it his own, you know, so he can make money because that's his real objective. Get out of debt, you know, make money, get with the love of his life and be able to provide for his family. That's his objective. And let's face it, you know, nine out of 10 people want to just be able to make it. So that's what he was doing it. But he was basically doing it by taking someone's identity. He was doing it by basically, you know, committing fraud, which goes into the crucifixion. Now, within the crucifixion, you're going to see, you know, Clarence going through a situation where he is basically, you know, following Jesus around. But now he's having to, you know, take ownership to what he's done. And now he has a warrant for his arrest because he's committing fraud. He's taking money. And it wasn't something that he should have been doing. Now, while, how did uh, Clarence get his life back after being crucified? Well, 
Jesus had to be resurrected just so Clarence can get his life back. And through the resurrection of Jesus of Nazareth, you know, that's how basically Clarence was able to live a life in on earth as Jesus was in heaven. It's really, you know, very interesting to see how there's like two kings. One goes to earth and one is in human form. It's an interesting, you know, it's just really interesting to me. Now, my thoughts about this movie, I want you guys to know that I think that um, when I think about the Book of Clarence, I think that they say that there this was a a movie that took some time, but to me... I feel like it was a great movie, especially for Jay-Z starting out. But I think that um, it wasn't the best movie. Should I pay my $15 for it? I probably shouldn't have. But at the same time, it's Jay-Z, you know? So with that being noted, um, I wanted to know a little bit more about The Bullet, Jay-Z, and The Book of Clarence. It seems very interesting. Anyhow, I'm not going to make this video very long. I'm about to start yawning because I do need to get in the shower. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning here. But I wanted to do this little commentary on what I thought about the Book of Clarence. If you have an opportunity, let me know what you guys thought of the uh, movie if you saw it. Um, and um, let me know if you would uh, actually go out and watch it or hang out with some friends and purchase it watch it one of those situations you know what i'm gonna get offline now because i do need to get in the shower so um peace love and happiness guys check out my community tab oh my goodness there's going to be a lot of information that um i think it's very imperative imperative for you to be paying attention to so check me out on my community tab i'm gonna holla at y'all later bye